and welcome back to another To Be Continued Book Club with the Lafayette Public Library. My name is Miss Anna and today I'm going to be sharing the book Blue Skies by Anne Buster with you. Let's start with chapter one. Miracles happen in Gladiola, Texas, population 3,421. And since Grams is responsible for 39 so far, I'm counting on her gift to run in the family. After all, she always says, have audacious expectations. And why not? I want a miracle of my very own. You see, my Grams is the best matchmaker in the county. Her wall of fame proves it. 39 gold framed photos of couples on their wedding days, including mama and daddy, fill our study wall. That averages out to one per year since she and grandpa walked down the aisle. Some folks say it's a hobby. Graham says it's a calling. Even though I'm only in the fifth grade and I don't know much about boys and I've never made a match, I am positive that my best friend, Ruby Jane Fluger, needs my help. After all, she asked. Call it destiny, call it crazy. I answered the call. Glory B. Bennett, matchmaker extraordinaire, was born. Happily ever after, says Ruby Jane as we amble up the red carpet at the end of the Saturday picture show. She twists a lock of her cinnamon-colored hair around her finger. That's how Ben Truman and I will live, right? Once Daddy comes home, my family will too. Ruby Jane has seen more movies than anyone else I know, and her favorites always end that way. Which is why today's feature didn't make her top 10. Ruby Jane's big dream makes sense. Can I guarantee it? I don't think Graham dares to make that whopper of a promise. Wouldn't that be great? I reply. My answer must be good enough because I swear I can see all of the graces in my best friend's mouth. I can imagine Ruby Jane and Ben, my next door neighbor, together with their photograph displayed on my own wall of fame in my bedroom. Except her request is not without its challenges. Shy doesn't begin to explain my naive friend. Ben was the king of his sixth grade back to school dance this fall and Delilah Wallingham was the queen. Now Ruby Jane aims to take Delilah's place. Let me ask you something, I say, as I catch a whiff of fruity bubblegum while we pass the next row of seats. Have you talked to Ben? I mean, had a real conversation with him? Of course, every time, almost every time I see him. Hi, Ben is not a conversation, Ruby Jane. I know, she says, her forehead all wrinkly. Now it's our first day of Christmas break and I won't have a chance for more than two weeks. Don't worry. I believe in you and your sixth grade heartthrob. I already have a plan. It starts right now. Today is Ben's first day at the soda fountain. I knew I could count on you, Glory B, says my closest friend, and she sprints ahead. Miracle number 40, here we come. And, I hope, a top secret 40, 41st miracle, too. I stop halfway up the red carpet and clutch the charm bracelet Daddy handed me at the train station before he left. I rub its shamrock for good luck, close my eyes, and picture Daddy's big smile. I refuse to believe what they say about him. When you love someone, you never give up hope. Not ever. Hurry up, Glory B, hollers Ruby Jane, and I open my eyes. My friend is only two steps from the lobby. The smell of warm, buttery popcorn fills the theater from the concession stand out front. On my way, I say, but not before I pray for the umpteenth time for my family's happily ever after. All the men in our town who went to the war came back, save one. They say my daddy was lost in France on a beach called Omaha. I am still waiting for him to be found. And that's where we're going to stop on Blue Skies. Again, this is by Anne Bustard. It is a middle grade novel, and it's absolutely wonderful. If you want to keep reading and find out what happens to Glory B, and if she finds her father, and if Ruby Jane ends up with Ben, then check this out from our library and continue reading. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next To Be Continued Book Club. Bye!